YouTube, what's poppin' YouTube, it's your boy Shay Rebel coming back at you with another reaction video. How everybody doing this Saturday morning? Everybody okay and either asleep or y'all out about to get on y'all grind for the day or who knows, y'all about to party all day, y'all about to turn up, we you about to just rest and chill. But whatever y'all about to do, whenever you get a chance, you got some videos waiting for y'all later on. So whatever y'all do in y'all day, y'all got something to come home and relax to and, and laugh to. And we got uh, we got a police catch murder suspect during traffic patrol. <laughs> That's crazy. What's the odds of uh, catching a murder suspect during a traffic a traffic stop? Like, what's the odds of that? The odds are very, very, very rare. I know one thing. If you are a murder suspect, you shouldn't be out here just driving. Not, I'm not going to say willy nilly. You shouldn't even be out here driving. You should be out here walking. <laughs> Dead ass, literally. So you don't got no reason to even get stopped. Your name even pop up in the system. Well, let's get into the video. On June 8, 2023, police spotted a vehicle that had been caught on camera at the scene of a stabbing the week prior. County 322 Cop 1050. Raper Dairy Road, Fountain Parkway, Florida Tag 18 Bravo, Lima Golf Tango on a white Honda Accord occupied one time. Raper Dairy Drive. Romeo, Alpha, Papa. License, registration, proof of insurance. Deputy Cable. You, you looking for your insurance? Yeah. It's all right, just hold off on that. Okay. I got you here. Okay. Just give me a minute, okay? All right. Okay. okay. It's her. They'll be on this one, right? Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, the guys get here, we'll get out, talk to her. At the very least, we're going to take the car, but okay. see what she has to say. The engine uh, Yaris is here, the red one. Okay. She looks like the one from the video. Shit. There's two cars registered to her. We think it's her and dad. So obviously it's the car they use, but then there's a red car they're in all the time too, which yeah. is over there. And it comes back to dad. Let's say dad lives in South Florida. Okay. So whoever her boyfriend is, is probably going to be the suspect. That makes sense. So do they pass? Damn, so she did it to her boyfriend? This girl's cold as hell. I'm, man, I'm gonna go with the whole with the whole situation about why why they even why she even commit the murder. Why she even try to do it. That's because they're like not wanting to get like their vehicle seen? Do they are they just Yeah, they don't, not everybody's gonna bunch up here so they see our cars and all okay. that. So that's why I kinda of parked over there. Okay. And then yeah, as soon as our other guys come up here, we'll make contact with her. They're just gonna do an initial interview with her. Okay. And see how because other than the car we don't have anything. The victim's still all f***ed up. We can't even yeah. interview him until, like, yeah. next week. I heard yeah, he, like, had surgery, right? So I was telling me. Yeah, if we could talk to him. That yeah, we do. get in his phone. Like, yeah. he'd already know who this was. So we're having to kind of backtrack it. Yeah. Hopefully we can talk to her here and find him. She'll give everything up. Okay. Hey, you guys want to grab her and talk to her? Yeah, we're going to pull her out. Okay. Right. I'm going to pull another yeah. here. You another one? Let's pull her out. You want me to talk to her? You want me to talk to her? Hey, Nicole. Yeah. Uh, you want to just step out for me? We'll explain everything to you. Just come, come step out for me. We're just here to talk to you. She step out. Step out. So it's kind of like how I like doing my traffic stops. I like pulling people out. I like pulling Where? people out. Just head back to the front of my car. 
I have one. I like how I like doing my traffic stops. I like pulling people out. Did she say I like pulling people out during my traffic stops? That's weird as hell. You like to pull out. That's that's the excuse you give to somebody. I mean, you really don't have to give them a reason or excuse, but it it is in it, it just it may, I thought it always makes the driver whoever they're talking to feel more at calm because then you just talking about get out the car, get out the car, and that's you know escalates it to a, a very very higher situation, and you never know how the person might would react, especially where this person being behind the wheel. This is a dude. I I best believe he probably would not have gotten out. He probably would have turned that car on real quick and zoomed up, zoomed the fuck out of there. But now, don't get me wrong, a female probably would do it too. But she probably just ain't up on um, she just ain't up on it or knowing like, oh, what's about to happen. That's probably why. Do you step out? So it's kind of like how I like doing my traffic stops. I like pulling people out. All right, just head back to the front of my car. I have work tomorrow. I'm a what do you do? registered behavior technician. I work with kids with autism. Behavior, like an ABA? Yes. Uh, an ABA. An yeah. Okay. Well, it's not too late, so. Let them do their thing, okay? She looked good to as hell. What kind of disability? I know ABA is, it's just specific to autism then? Because um, don't you guys I work? work with some kids who have like schizophrenia. Okay. Older. Yeah, that's what I thought it was more for. I didn't know autism. But mostly autism. Okay. So is it is it actually ABA or is it different? It's ABA there. Okay. You go into people's homes usually. No, I work at a school. What school? Uh, it's called Santiago. Where? Santiago. I don't think I've heard of it. Is it in this area? It's like a private school. Oh, um, that's why then. That's why. Oh yeah, we're from. Okay, it's different. A little different. Moving from Miami. Yeah. How long ago did you move? Not even that long ago. Maybe a month ago. Yeah. You like it? I don't even know anything. No. That's what happens when you move. Not with my dad. I mean, my parents are young. I have cool parents. I just don't know what that. Yeah. You make friends. Yeah. You don't know nobody. You sure about that? You don't know nobody out there, and you only been there for a month. But somehow, some way, your ass about to get wrapped up in a murder. <laughs> That's crazy. You only been in some place for a month, and you got young parents. Hey, cool. What else you got? I'm very homebody. <laughs> Stay at home. Yeah. Am I being busy? What's up, boss? Good, good, good. Just give us a minute. Huh? Just give us a minute. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Everything okay? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk to you and explain everything to you. We just gotta kind of talk to her first. Yeah. You just look like you were coming up on this. No, I wasn't. No, I, was. <laughs> I was like, hey. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Are you dad? Yes, sir. Hold on. Okay, let me get my I'm no. getting my stuff. Relax. Do I need to get my bag. I have stuff for work that you I need relax. to get. Calm down. Relax. I'm relaxed. You guys. Please just relax. Don't control the encounter. That's not how it works. We have probable cause to take that car. It was involved in a stabbing. What? Mm hmm. 100%. That car is on video. That tag was involved in a stabbing. Can I need no. my bag. Ba, I need my bag for work. Okay, you need to do things the right. Calm down. You could get your bag, but calm down. She could get her bag, correct? No. I mean, you're gonna. She can't take anything out of the car. We're taking the car. Okay. So can somebody was stabbed. Her, They're in the hospital. Get... They're not talking. They might die. No, so, I, I'm not. So no, she can't. Not, not right now. She can't get anything. About that, but her, her like personal. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna, she's gonna talk. Okay, I need to talk to my dad. No, that's my problem. You're not gonna jail. talk. Stop. Go to jail. Stop. Talk to my dad. No, he's talking to them right now. Take a step back and stop. 
Go you over there, you're down. going to jail. I'm not going to tell you one more time. Does, it's not illegal to stand over You're under arrest. Nikki. Bro, Nikki. Nikki. Hey, hey, come on, guys. Bro, bro. 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 I told you. I told you. Now she's going to jail. Now I'll handle it a different way. Yeah, I did. She's resisting. All right, well, this is pointless. Hold on, because that's the first time I've ever seen them just be like, they literally have, I mean, I can understand because this situation is they supposedly, they got, she's a, I'm not going to, they don't know, but supposedly a stabbing happened in the vehicle. She might be the suspect. But the way, I mean, they, they take her down, they take her down lightly and all that stuff, but it just seems like they was just like on, on zero bullshit with this one. They were just like, okay, you don't want to comply? All right, we're going to just arrest you. Like, cause they did it like, they did it like so quick. Like it just happened like so quick. Like they didn't care. Watch. You're under arrest. Nikki. Oh. No, he's talking to them right now. Nikki, Take a step back and stop. Go over there, you're down. going to jail. I'm not going to tell you one more time. Does, it's not illegal to stand over. You're under arrest. Nikki. Bro, Nikki. 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 Hey, hey, come on, guys. Bro, bro. 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 I told you. I told you. Now she's going to jail. Now I'll handle it a different way. Yeah, I did. She's resisting. She was resisting. All right, well, this is pointless. Um, I'll, yeah, I understand the situation. And yeah, if you if you stab somebody in the vehicle and you're driving around and stuff like that, like she kind of looked like she looked like she like she did something earlier. She she looked tired. She like she been through some shit, but um. Yeah, that really wasn't resisting. She really wasn't resisting. She turned her back and she was just like, that's not illegal. But she didn't do nothing. She didn't move no gesture. She didn't do nothing. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of two-sided about it. But at the same time, it's just like, I mean, if you if she was involved in a stabbing, she was the one that did the stabbing, then I, I kind of understand where they're coming from. Long story short, the car is involved in a stabbing. She's on camera. Her boyfriend's on camera. Trying to talk to her like an adult, but I guess that's not going to happen. Roll over. So, Set up. Do you have anything on you I need to know about? Thanks. Since we both work in the area, you know, nights we go over there. Nights would go over there, nights would come here. Yeah. You know? But I, I don't know. Nothing. You know how I would get in touch with her boyfriend? You don't know anything about him? Nickname? Bam. Shit. I wish I did. Yeah. Unfortunately, our kids do some stupid shit. Yeah. Wait up. So then he don't even know that she had a boyfriend? I got to play that back. I got to play that back because that's true. That's... There. Nights would go over there, nights would come here. Yeah. You know? But I, I don't know. Nothing. You know how I would get in touch with her boyfriend? You don't know anything about him? Nickname? Bam. Shit. I wish I. Wow. That's crazy. And that's that's a that's a that's a sad. Not. I mean it's. I, it, it is sad, but it's like, man, like that's why they always tell us to be part of our part of our kids' lives and stuff like that, so we know what they're going through and and know what they up to. And the only way we can know about that type of stuff is being a part of their life. If you were absent father, mother, or anything like that, you will never ever know what your kid is going through in life or you know what what what's happening in their life because you're not there. And he probably is there too. You know, I mean, it seems like they got like a bad, uh, a bad relationship. But she did say that her parents were younger, so she probably tried to play it like, "Oh, they're younger. They don't need to know." Or like, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm not the girl. I don't want to say how she did it, but it's kind of, it's that's not safe at the end of the day, because if if her dude or her boyfriend end up turning out to be somebody else that she's not safe around or or it could turn into a whole other incident like 
she put herself in a, in a situation that's not safe as well. Because then your parents don't know, and then your friends. And you say you, you just moved here like a month. You've only been there for a month. Like, the stuff you're saying is not, it's not okay. <laughs> None of the stuff you're saying is okay. Now you got to do better in life. For real, for real. You got a bright, and she got to seem like she got a bright future ahead of her because you help out this kid with disabilities and stuff like that. I don't care who you is. If you help out kids with disabilities and stuff like that, you automatically get a kudos from me. My heart goes out to you because I know that's not an easy situation. It's not an easy job for anybody to do. It's, it's hard enough sometimes taking care of our own shit in life. I won't lie. But yeah, to the fact that he does not know that she has that she has a boyfriend is crazy. It's wild. And they say that they have like that relationship where they like this, so they they so he would know. But yeah, yeah. unfortunately, our kids do some stupid shit. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah. Who, who she was with that night or that day? It was. He almost died. Yeah. The guy that got stabbed, he's still in the hospital. This this country don't give a f about people your country. You have anything on you I need to know no, about? Bitch, I don't got shit. You're trying to do it peacefully and talk to me, I, which I she, appreciate because you could have just took it. Yeah, the beginning. and she would well, she would have been leaving to me. Hundred percent, she would be leaving. to that um RIP to that to that murder victim damn that's crazy that's crazy yeah, it's a come to his wound that's crazy man that's crazy I hope y'all um I hope y'all enjoyed this one just like I did damn that that ending hit hard cause I, I literally was hoping that I was literally think I was literally hoping that like oh like the boy he would push it through whoever it was that was pushing through Damn, like they said in the, in the beginning, it was a critical condition, and and I ain't gonna lie, I ain't never been stabbed, I ain't never stabbed nobody, ain't done no, no no crazy shit like that. But imagine, you just gotta imagine a knife, a knife ain't got no, a knife ain't got no um, ain't got no rules. All it has is a, is a sharp pointy end, you know. Wherever somebody pushed that, it's it's gonna be directly where it goes through. So you never know, like. And you know when people when people stab people and, and do it stuff, they do it out of rage and they go ballistic. You can there's there's stories of people out there stabbing people over a hundred, two hundred times. Like, and I be thinking in my head like, damn, like how do you stab somebody that many times? Like it doesn't snap into your brain, your brain to like like stop. Like that that's just crazy to me. But I hope y'all enjoyed this react this video. Man, I hope y'all learned something from it. Um. Especially, for, especially for y'all parents, know, figure out, and know what you, what your kids are doing, what they into, all, at all times, because in a situation like this, you, so you, you never know. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Oh, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate, appreciate all the new subscribers. Appreciate all the comments. Um, when I get a chance, I'll throw up a, a, a screenshot thumbnail. Of, the video that went over a thousand views i'm very very happy to for you all about that all the comments in there in that video are very positive and um they uh they it, this this type of stuff gives me like i said the motivation to want to keep on doing this stuff each and every day even though i you know i do work two jobs and stuff like that i got a family i do enjoy doing this for you all and it's therapeutic for myself and i can get you know get it out there how i feel about certain stuff Hope I catch y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. All right.